Are we streaming again? Had a bit of a uh, internet connection there. Let's see here. Oh, we are on the air. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Yeah, you can... Maybe... Race for impact. No. Stop. There we go. Just hold down on that circle and he leaves the boat. Um, remember, you can use these. Go. There was a map. And I have no memory of how to get to it. And like Far Cry, this is a crafting system. This is just one of those things where uh, play a game long enough and you'll say, oh right, and then you won't forget it. But go nine months without playing this game like I have, and you're back to day one all over again. Like, how to open a chest. Sleep dart can now be crafted. Berserk dart can now be tra crafted. Touchpad. There we go. Where's our destination? Oh. Ah. Uh. Might be good to just. Well. Let's just fast travel on the other side of this long boomerang. Clues down, catch some wind. You ride the wind for all this work. You can see there's a lot of icons just on that town. I remember being there. Alright. Uh, rainstorms are... All right, good. This is uh, this is always one of the best parts of uh, this game when the seas get rough and the waves get huge. And so, uh, there are times where you're spending as much time trying to uh, navigate your boat, shall we say? We. I have never used the harpoon. You cannot release the wheel in high storms and... Alright. Well, let's see. Um... 
There's some good meat to spare here, Captain. There we go. Is it this? No, it's gonna. You need to get the front of your boat. Begin harpooning. I I've never seen uh, this kind of spot on the map before. the whale boat lads all right changed outfits for this he's over there oh you have to do this yourself all right well. we have him on the line steady now lads this is worth doing once just to see what it does Um, do I... Okay. It's weakening! They've made this, uh... Gotcha! Rather direct Whoa, with... Damn it! Keep an eye out for that fin! Look out! Forward! Am I gonna get litter? Yeah, I'm gonna get this one's attacked. Dangerous. Let's get killed by a shark. I mean, we kind of deserve it for what we're bell. doing here. Secure the rope. There we go. Steady now, lads. <laughs> Stung him. I do not endorse this that kind of activity. But on the other Shut hand, when it comes to video games, you. fuck sharks. Oh, oh, right. yeah. If it's a whale or something, no thank you. But sharks in a video game... A worth doing once. Just to send a message Three to the others. Captain. Yeah... Okay. Rescue a guy. I know. I think I'm probably at the max limit for crew without doing some upgrades. There's a treasure chest. I guess this game has, like, uh, in addition to the sharks, there's the occasional, uh, uh, even more infrequent sea creatures. There may even be a Moby Dick or something like that. There's, there's enough of them that some people felt a tinge of regret over them. And, uh... He said, I pretty much expressed myself clearly on that matter. I have, uh, there's two things in video games that I do not like. Uh, spiders and, and sea monsters, basically. Um, spiders, video game, gave me a long-standing case of arachnophobia that was... I mean, really almost crippling for a number of years there. Um, I still... I still will flinch and turn into, uh... 
a crumpled mass at the thought of tarantulas or something, but I can now at least deal with the spider on the wall. Um, but sharks and stuff? Oh, I don't like that. I mean, even, even the stupid little piranha rockfish thing in Quake 1, uh, when I was pl younger and played that, um, I did not look forward to meeting those. But then again, it was fun that you could get be invincible and set off the electric gun. Or you actually you could just... You didn't even have to be in the water. You could just charge the water with electricity and they'd all die. But anyway, if you follow this channel, you'll see that there are two consistent themes with me when it comes to animal-like monsters, and that is fuck spiders and fuck sharks. And I think those are reasonable positions. The old question, where the hell are we, applies here somewhat. Okay, well, you know, I like to, I like to, I like to sail. That might change eventually, but for right now, this early into the story, where we've pretty much only uh, just begun to really learn who the players are, I like to sail around. Yep. Well, then we best move fast. Yes. The same as every other squat I've robbed this past year. Oi, oi. Why the long face? You've fallen in love? With your <laughs> blouse. You're welcome to Nassau, gents. Everyone is that does their fair share. Fair share? What is this, a fucking monastery? <clears throat> we was uh, led to believe that Nassau was a place where men did as they pleased. Safe keeping others from doing the same. Aye. Captain Thatch, as I live and breathe. What is this magnificent muzzle you cultivate? Eh? Why fly a black flag when a black beard will do? What brings you two gents this far north? The word is, Cuban governor himself... This guy likes to keep his guns close. ...from a nearby port. Until then, it's just sitting and there. He likes to have more guns than the hands. Preferably two guns for every hand. If not more. Welcome to Nassau, Captain Vane. Mr. Rackham. Now, uh, where can a man find a bit rough? Do you know what I mean? So, we've discovered a new town. We have enough money. Yeah, sure. That upgrades our boat, I guess. Um, I don't want to shoot people. Is this... Yeah, we're not going to do this. I don't have enough money? 
Huh, I spent it all. Well, it's time to see if I can sell some things, I guess. There's also one of these triangle doodads up here. These collector pieces. All over these towns, there's animus fragments, there's sea shanties, there's, uh... All sorts of... Alternative things. There's chests. Let's see if we can figure out how to get that chest. Go this way. Well, that's enough money to buy information from that guy. I see a music note, and that's a sea shanty. I try to pick up everyone I can. I haven't... Been able, you know, if you're going to spend a lot of time in this game sailing a boat and refusing to fast travel, you want every little pirate song you can to keep the atmosphere alive. There we go. Come back here, piece of paper. Yes! Sea sh shanties show up as just... Papers blowing in the wind. Um, let's look at this town and try and decide off of it what we're supposed to be doing. Templar hunt. Um, main missions. That's what I'd like to know. Where where did the main missions go? Suddenly, the main mission has moved all the way over to there. So, let's finish browsing what we can through this town, I suppose. I don't remember what the dagger means. We should prioritize is. Uh, do we want to buy upgrades for ourselves? Are selling. We can go here and upgrade our ship. That's what I prefer to do. Because one thing I do remember doing is. Uh, buying pretty much the best swords for this guy, or what I thought they were, by grinding up a lot of gold. You require my services? So, um, the chances that I need to, let's see, sell cargo. This is all stuff that, uh, you get sinking ships. You don't have any real use for them yourself. It's just free money. Yep. You can essentially do trade routes, moving stuff from places where it has, uh... Okay, that's that's used to upgrade your ship. That's doesn't We don't want to sell that. And that metal can also be used for stuff. Wood can be used for hull upgrades, so you don't want to really sell that. Sell these bones. Uh, different items go for more money in different towns, and, uh... You can... Shark Hunter outfit. Well, how much does it go for again? 580. I can save that. I can sell that if I really need it. Um, you can buy stuff from places where it's cheap and then travel over to places where it's expensive and make money that way. Let's look at functional upgrades before we... Okay, that is some expensive... Upgrading the cannons isn't too bad. Um, I've apparently ground a lot more money in this game than I remember. Large amounts of precision damage. We can buy that. That's something. Uh, 
more crewmen, 3,500. Um, we'll go with the one thing we can't afford. This will increase the damage of something or other. No, wait, we don't have the proper materials for that. Okay, so we can't do anything. Business well concluded. We're reasonably broke by this game's standard. Again, since I haven't put, put loaded the save in a very long time, uh, that's news to me. I had to take a break here for a moment. I'll be right back in uh, about 90 seconds. And I'm back. Um, given that I don't know why the game dragged me out to this town. Yeah, that's probably my primary source of cash right there. Um, I'm sort of inclined to just... fill in the map as close as I can and move along. Oh, there's a chest in there. Ah, well, I'm gonna have to fight guys to get this chest. the e-manual. That might prove useful in time. Let's get... There we go. Da -da -da -da. One thing I love about every Assassin's Creed game is how every viewpoint, no matter how high it is or out of the way it is, has a, uh, a big landing pad of leaves and hay and soft stuff for you to jump into immediately below. Um, there appears to be some connection in the world between very high places and uh, a big cushion on the ground. And I keep waiting for the day when there isn't one there and the guy just splats.
there's a sea shanty over here. I have to catch that. Can't let them be ignored. how to get there. It'll fly away in a moment. Yeah. You know, you messed up when you climb higher than the viewpoint. PlayStation, all commands, change layout, I've been playing this for 30 minutes, change layout, change layout, Friendly installation to me. Especially with the noose right out front. 
can be an ability to jump up the doorway. I'd almost think I'm not supposed to not go here. I'm going to move along to the next location. And then I might have to call it. Uh, this was always going to be a short stream. I needed to uh, get rest tonight, so I don't have a lot of time to sit and play all day. But, uh, the forts. Didn't notice that loot until it was too late. Just sail right through the bad guy's vision. Dare you to do something. So yeah, this guy uh, killed an assassin, I think. And took his outfit, and then pretended to be an assassin, while also telling the Templars he was just pretending to be an assassin. And sort of played both sides against the middle. And on top of that, he's wanted for things, for being a pirate. So you don't really have a heck of a lot of friends, although, like most Assassin's Creed protagonists, you will fall in line with the assassins. Uh, less choice involved in that this time, but... It effectively makes no difference. Right back. Yeah, if I stream this regularly, I'd uh, maybe have to give up on just sailing around because this does not uh, bring in the viewers. But I enjoy it, so it's kind of a tough call. Under hmm. trophy for something. Employee of the month. 
Oh, I completed some Abstergo challenges. There's sort of like... I mean, I don't know if it's still going on because this is an old game, but there was... Uh, um, sort of like overall player base challenges, you know? Will a community sail however many miles, that kind of thing? I suspect those things are mostly automated. And so long as Ubi keeps the uh, servers up, they don't have to manually hack it or anything. more animals right now. Didn't give me a great uh, reward. Oh, that's uh, that's that's for boating. Now let's see. Twenty-five something. I have no idea what that is. Don't need any more ammunition. I need to uh, grind gold. Later. A cove upgrade is over there. Do I just... Oh, I see. This is on land. That's where you go to upgrade your cove. There's a shanty. Well, uh... When we come back next time to Assassin's Creed 4, I will just randomly sail around getting in fights with dudes because honestly that seems to be the best way to make money and this guy ain't gonna work for free <laughs>